Thanksgiving is right around the corner. I'm keeping my voice down because the baby is sleeping. And I know you've all ordered my holiday meal from Whole Foods. If you haven't already, make sure you do that. Link is down below. And if you don't know about this meal yet, if you didn't see my last video, basically I created the vegan meal for Whole Foods for this holiday season. So you can pick it up and have it for your Thanksgiving table, or you can have it for Christmas, or Friendsgiving, or Hanukkah, or anything in between. Pick it up at your local Whole Foods, meaning that it is available throughout the United States and Canada. I'm working with them throughout the holiday season and they're sponsoring this video. But I wanted to share with you a very simple and very special recipe for gingerbread sweet potato bars. I've actually shared this recipe before, but it was so, so long ago. And after almost 10 years of blogging, this one is still one of my very favorite recipes. It'll be perfect for your Thanksgiving table. And also, it's pretty nutritious because we don't use any refined sugar, just dates and maple syrup. It doesn't require you to turn on the oven. It's a no-bake dessert and it's made with sweet potatoes. So of course it's gonna be amazing. Super easy to make, so let's get started. I like to start with the crust and by getting all of my gingerbread spices together in a small bowl. You'll need cinnamon, nutmeg, cloves, cayenne pepper, salt, and black pepper. Mint some fresh ginger too. We're making this whole thing using a food processor. First, pulse your almonds to break them up. Then add dates. Make sure to remove the pits. Spices, coconut, fresh ginger, coconut oil, and molasses. Blend until the almonds and the dates are tiny and they'll stick together in your hands. Press that firmly to the bottom of a baking dish lined with parchment paper. Now we'll make the sweet potato filling. Once again, organize the spices first. We're using cinnamon, cardamom, ginger powder, cloves, salt, and pepper. Imagine how delicious this is. Measure out one and a half cups of sweet potato flesh. Then put that into the food processor with the spices, maple syrup, coconut oil, lemon juice, vanilla, and coconut flour. Blend until it's creamy. You could also do this in the blender. Pour that over your crust and spread evenly. Place it in the fridge to set for at least one hour. So it's the next day. I've taken it out of the refrigerator and it's ready to cut. You only need to put it in the fridge for about one hour, but I left it in overnight just for convenience. So let's cut it. Top with shredded coconut and a light sprinkle of cloves. So now it's done. Super simple as you saw. And so absolutely, mm, mm. So I hope you guys will try these for Thanksgiving. They are perfect. I understand eating like really yummy, decadent stuff for Thanksgiving and for the holidays, but it's also true that you can have a healthier version 
of the decadence, right? So this tastes just as incredible as anything else you would have, but it's, you know, healthier. It's also really good for breakfast. I'm just saying it's technically a dessert, but you know, it's okay if you eat it for breakfast too. Check out the link down below to order my vegan holiday meal from Whole Foods. You can pick it up at your local Whole Foods anywhere in the United States and in Canada this holiday season. So make sure you order it, link down below. And this recipe is in my cookbook. So if you don't already have the cookbook, make sure you order it as well. It's a perfect gift. It's a great gift for yourself or for someone you love. I'm gonna link down below too for the Amazon page so you can order one or two or three or 10. Just give them out to everybody you know because it's a really great book and this recipe is in it. And I also will be sharing this recipe on my blog so the link for that is below as well. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.